Hello everyone, this is Ali from ATC team from Alamitabutabai Junior High School in second request with Rescue U19 in Robocop Asia Pacific Taijin International 2021. Our team, um, about our team, uh, the team members is I, Ali Shakui Bahar. Uh, 10th grade and uh, Ilya Zahedi Abgari, my uh, teammate and um, eighth grade and the region we uh, are in Tehran in Iran and uh, about the Robocop experiences so I have been in Robocop Iran Open competition uh, 2018 Robocop Asia Pacific 2018 Kish Island in Kish Island uh, Robocop Asia Pacific uh, 2019 in Moscow and a lot of competitions in Iran such as Junior Cup 2018, 19 and 21. Uh, Eli just entered as a new and professional programmer in this year and uh, so he doesn't earn any and he doesn't experience any uh, Robocop competitions but we all hope to learn and experience team working in this fantastic competition very well. AI algorithm and resources so we decided to, uh, to write two really important algorithms to catch the objects full RGB for creating a super object uh, and then we catch the super object with the second algorithm uh, between these actions we put an algorithm to catch the black objects near the middle deposit box in this map especially in this map to earn more score in this place and uh, we use our tested and special functions to do the best movement in the specific steps these functions are our resources to do all actions in the match uh, with this information and tools we set the steps and our algorithms to this this um, for the first uh, action, we catch the RGB model one is um, a, th a three area in uh, in the left side of the map, and the one uh, one is on the right top of the map, and then it will uh, deposit RGB. The second step is catch the super object that we created, and then deposit super object after the catching that. Um, third uh, step is catching right side black objects near the middle uh, deposit box and after we pick it up uh, three objects uh, three black objects we will uh, deposit it uh, deposit three objects in there and then it will go to it will go to the left side black objects and do the same thing and the fifth uh, step is catch RGB model 2 is three areas black red and cyan like the first step but uh, all of them is, are uh, all of them are in the right side of the map and the last step is catch super object that we created in the uh, model 2 and deposit the super object but after step 6 the last step it repeat these actions and uh, it will go to the first step and do it uh, in a, like in, in a loop so implementation uh, we uh, start with a um, basic algorithm like trap and you can see the uh, follow chart that uh, we start if both sensors detect yellow color um, so robot move backwards to don't go um, to don't go into the central of the trap 
and if it's not it checks the right sensor and then left sensor to move the best way that it can and we have the wall movement algorithm that you can see the fellow chart um, if both US sensors detect wall so uh, robot move backward and the same thing in the trap but with the US sensors and the walls uh, for the third uh, algorithm out of the field we said that the outfield algorithm uh, we use the position, uh, the robot's positions, uh, position X and position y, um, y, to find uh, where is uh, where is uh, robot at the, at the real time, to um, think and figure out uh, if robot goes uh, out of the uh, field. Uh, we back, uh, we um, code something to back to robot back in the field. So we uh, it, uh, that was just the um, basic algorithm, but this is the advanced algorithm that we use it. Um, the first one is go to the selected area. We uh, first of all in this filter we can see we calculate the angle between the robot and the area that we want to go. Uh, they were just uh, need the x and uh, y, x and y, to figure out the angle and calculate that. After that, it checks that if the angle is in the correct uh, correct range, it will go forward, and if it's uh, um, if the angle is right of the correct range, it will turn left. And if it uh, and if the angle is left of the correct uh, range. It would turn right, and uh, it is the uh, really really um, good algorithm because we can uh, use it in these uh, ways to move the another place that we want um, to go to the deposit box and uh, get the super object. It will uh, really good for us. And the second one is zigzag movement in the selected area when we are going to the selected area we should um, collect all objects in there so we uh, should to um, have this zigzag movement move like in zigzag to um, scan more uh, space and more area in that uh, in that place in the less time in the minimum time that we can so first if robot in the uh, selected area it needs um, four points uh, for x and y's to um, figure out and calculate where is the area and then if it's in this uh, area it will um, move like in zigzag but else it will, uh, it will uh, go and align itself to the central of the, uh, in the middle of the area.